right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here today with MK1, as usual. Now, we're covering as many cameos as I can think of that work well with Rico. Now, of course, everyone knows, or most people should know by now, that I play my grappler characters, command grip characters. If you got command grips, I'm interested. Now, for Rico, almost everyone knows Darius and Striker are the two best picks. Darius for the command grab combos and some potential pressure off the overhead or the back swinging Darius cameo. Striker for the safe armor, as well as the pressure and mid-screen control from the grenades, as well as the, sa the plus on block mix, standard reset, all the stuff like that. We, we all know Darius and Striker. Now, I think there's some underrated ones here, and they're harder to implement, but they're honestly really fun. And they offer slightly different tweaks and tools to the game plan. Now, for starters, I think Jax, Goro, and Sub-Zero and Sector. Those are the four I can really think of right now that'd be viable. Um, apparently, I heard rumors of a Kong Lao with Reiko. Might be really strong or decent. I'm not entirely sure, honestly. I tried looking at it. I, I I'm not too sold. I don't know. It's it's going to be a, it's going to be a, a, a test, I suppose. Um, Mataro has potential, but I, I, I'm not sold on Mataro. I think Mataro needs buffs, to be honest. Um, Kano, totally fine. Same idea as Striker, um, except that Striker has plus and block mix and ascending reset. And the main thing with Kano is that the knives can cover you from full screen because they're so present on screen. Um, and the Kano wall, those are, those are pretty good. Uh, Sonya, I don't ever use Sonya, honestly. Um, I've seen no reason to. Scorpion might be a good contender as well um, for combos and the safety from Backspear. Uh, it depends on how you want to play and what you want to do. Now, I think I think the, by far the best ones are Sub-Zero, Goro, Jax, and Sector. So for starters, we'll go with Jax. So for Jax, the big one is, of course, the air grab, right? Because Reiko is always launching the opponent 8 times out of 10 because... His stand 3-4 can combo 4-3. Come on. There you go. Point is, his, his kicks believe the airborne. Something like uh, stand, three, stand 4 and a kind of grab that's truly guaranteed damage, right? Um, anything into running knee. Anything in a running knee into forward one two jack cameo, so in in general it makes the combo structure pretty easy and pretty rewarding. Um, as far as I've been able to tell, it's about thirty percent per touch, depending on your situations and what you're doing. All right, so if I do, tricky to do this. Point is, it, it allows for double side switches as well, so if you really want to, you can do something like this. Anyway, it, it's not easy to do necessarily because the timing's a bit awkward, but it just adds more damage to the combos, allows you for easy side switches, and just thematically, because it's an air grab and it's like a backbreaker. Pairs really well with the idea of the command grab stuff, right? So if I do, I think you do end with the command grab. I don't know. Just, I, I really like Jax with with Reiko, Reiko <clears throat> for the combos. Now the other thing is the down cannon. This uh, square wave here. Now this is actually a decent move because look at the range on the sucker, like. No, it doesn't touch that far away, apparently. That works from there. So, you could effectively like, throw a stand 3 out and, you know, make it completely safe, right? Because one of the biggest problems with Reiko, Reiko is that his all his kicks, his stand 3, stand 3, 4, 4, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, all of these are highs, right? So people would duck it, but now you got them slightly respecting this. Slightly. It's not easy, right? Because the, the hit reaction is kind of funky. 
but it's an option, right? Especially if they're blocking. Um, and if it, you know, if it, like, if they get hit by all this, it's just free damage into need for reset. Into which point, from here, if you really want to, let's see. I mean, you can throw stars, right? <clears throat> the other big thing is the ambush. Grand pound. Now, I saw some setups. Where basically, the idea was um, end with tackle. There's enough frame advantage for you to jump, and the the grand pound will hit them. And there's a whole setup. I don't, I don't, I don't know all the setups. I don't know all the tech, but you can do it. It is a thing. Um, so I, I would rate Jax as a very strong contender for pairing with Rico very well, especially with the fact that Rico can always get some sort of conversion off every single button he presses. Um, for some characters, you need to spend bar on their com combos or whatever. It's, a, it's very situational. But I think Jax is very, very well suited. Now, Striker, everyone knows. So let's, go, let's look at Goro. Now, Goro... Goro is an interesting one. Um, he gives you a bit less health. The two moves you want to use in Goro are definitely the, uh, the Razor Roof, right? Now, and the back one. The back cameo is not the greatest move in the world, but what it can do... Is it can combo for you, right? So if we do boom, it, it lets you do your combos. You can do double slice switches uh, without having to spend bar. Now the big, the big thing with a lot of these cameos that I'm showing right now is that you're not spending any bar on the slides for combos. You spent, you can save your bar for Ninja Star EX or Command Grab EX or your armor. Right? Now if you so like that, you can't combo. Can't combo, but it can add damage. That's that's the idea. Is like. You interrupt the animations to add a bit more damage. Apparently, uh, this works well. Sector, I don't know. I don't know about Jax or other cameos, but you can theoretically do it. Just adds a bit more damage to the armor, a bit more damage to the command grab. Uh, for command grab, we could do this. Boom! Right, there's an idea. So yeah, just a bit more damage, but. The, the big thing that I really think could, it, it basically make Rego like a, a mix machine. Um, of course, I'm sure it's like reactable and whatever else, but it'd probably be a lot of fun to do. Um, because you have the threat of this sucker from full screen, <laughs> if you want to do it, um, it makes it safe, right? The, the punch, the uh, razor roof, right? It is not easy to do because of timing, but you can do it. But here's the other thing, right? If they're crouch blocking against Reiko the whole time, you could easily do this. You could because because they're crouch blocking, that back grab will catch them. It's an overhead command grab essentially. So the idea is the overhead grab combos or the low combos. Either way, they're going to combo. And I mean, it's a way to play, right? Um, I think Jack has more synergy than Goro. Uh, but Goro seems like it'd be fun. Uh, I don't know really anything about Punch Walk, honestly, so I, I can't comment on it, so I'm not going to bother. Now, next we have Sub Zero, actually. I think Sub Zero is actually a very decent contender as well. Um, maybe not as flashy as someone like Jackson Goro, but he gets the job done. Now, the reason being. Do that right. You, you, any any comp any time you run into me, you can do this right. The only downside is you lose combos on this unless you want to spin bar. All right, so it's hmm, trickier. But it allows for a different combo extension. At which point. Ooh, I messed that up. Um, yeah, so I don't know. It, I don't know. It, it's not the flashiest thing, but it works, right? So.
it doesn't allow for double side switch as much as far as I could tell. Um, unless you, um, the other thing you can do is because the freeze is so long, you can actually get a bit more damage by doing not that. Hold on, let me see. You can actually do a full cross up into side switch. There you go. If you if you want to do that, so you can do. Let's see. Point is, you can do like double side switch like that. So um, into your dead back three, which is your best okay. Um, the other big thing for sub is that you can do back three from max or into this whole combo, right? So let me set him to auto. Let me see, right? Oh, does not combo, but it. I mean, it'll still reach. There, oh, oh, there you go. That worked. Kind of weird. Anyway, so it's, it, it it'll actually combo, which gets it respectable damage considering it's safe on block. But the other side of it too is the um, the knockdown you get from this pretty much guarantees they got, they're waking up into the projectile. So I'm gonna do this again, hold on. There we go. They, they gotta wake up into that um, because they're so far away that they gotta hold it, um, which is one thing that I think a lot of people kind of understand about Rico is that some of his knockdowns done so far away. Like the, the downside with the command grab ender, which is the most damage, look at this space, right? What am, I, what am I gonna do from back here? Like aside from like throw my throw my feet out, right? If I want to, back up and throw this out. Just throw mid. There you go. So just diff different options. Uh, generally, I think sub is a great beginner to pair with Reiko because it allows for uh, more time for combos and allow you to think about which way you want to end the combos, right? Um, Player one. Especially once you realize um, if you if you want to spend bar, where is he? Sector. Sector. Um, especially if you realize that you can keep the combo going grounded and keep them resetted or keep resetting. Um, you can do the same thing with like uh, with. Um, striker and uh sector and other characters but i don't know it's a little more fun with sub it kind of reminds you of terminator shotgun to be honest because you're constantly hitting the freeze hitting the freeze hitting the freeze side switch whatever um sector is one that i would like to learn more because he looks really cool uh stylish and a lot of damage right um it is not easy from what i've seen it's not easy at all but uh it seems it seems like it'd be fun right um now, the thing with Sector is that the thing with Sector is that you can do like button, you, you know, the 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 tower work bunch into combos. Of course, that's obvious. The flame into reset, right? Probably can't do it off that. Can't do it off that barrier. Okay, not none of this barrier. Well, that works. But, I mean, you're not really going to hit them from that far away. They're so far away, it's not even ridiculous. Um, but, of course, in the corner, it gets scary. Because in the corner, because the thing with Sector is that his flame reset actually is as fast as charging thing, as far as I've been able to tell. Like, it charges the fastest out of all of, all of his cameo buttons, right? So, if I just do this... <coughs> that did not work. But the point is, like, it just charges so much faster than whatever it does. So... Look at that, sort of back. And you can effectively do up to, I think, uh, uh, if assuming they're not blocking and they want to keep mashing, um, you can effectively get three standing resets. Right? So, like, just the basic idea right here. <coughs> you know, just basic, basic, basic idea, right? Um, the thing with Sector as well is that. supposed to be an idea of like you call the missile and then you do two runs and what i don't know anyway 
fancy stuff. The point is, Sector seems like a very capable one. The big one, obviously, is that you can break armor, especially with this setup. That'll break armor, and it's a full launch into another reset. Or not a reset, but uh, into another... Into a combo, right? I wonder if I can follow up on that. That'd be kind of cool. Um, yeah, anyway, Sector seems like a very strong pick for Rico. Um, I know a lot of people like the Striker and Daria stuff, but I just hope this gives you guys some basic ideas of like Jack for being a one, Goro, Decent, Sub-Zero, and Sector. These are the four that I like to play with Rico a lot. Um, Scorpion, let's talk about Scorpion. I think Scorpion has some potential as well. Um, similar idea with Goro, it's just that Scorpion's combos are more applicable than Goro's, in my opinion, and the idea of like overhead launch, low launch, uh, you can do something with Goro, but I think Goro does that better, and then, where is he, there he is, um, yeah, I don't know, and, 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 um, Scorpion's retreat spear is actually not bad for Reiko because Reiko's neutral is so strong. His buttons are like relatively decent. Like he just goes flying across the screen. He can do whatever. Um, like look how easy that combo was, right? Um, some of this. And then you're like you're like pretty close enough to start meeting whatever you want to do with them, honestly. Applicable, right in. and then of course you can pick it with this. Do whatever you want after. I figured that kind of honestly. Huh. Anyway. Yeah, the point is, like, it just allows for combos and the retreat, right? Because you could do something like this. You could do this off any of these, like, where they might duck and try and punish or armor through. You could just do this and the retreat and what punish them, right? Do whatever you want. So, I don't know. I think Scorpion has some potential with Ryko, right? Uh, Scorpion's just pretty good in general, to be honest, with a lot of people. Um, so, we've covered Jack, Squirrel, Sub, Scorp, Sector... Um, I'm trying to think. I can't think of anyone else. Everyone knows, like I said, we, we know the Darius and, and, and the Striker. We know that. Um, like I said, I, I know people suggest uh, Kung Lao, but I, I, I don't, I'm not sold on Kung Lao with him, honestly. I just, I don't, neither, neither Matar or Lao. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right to me. Um, like I'm sure people will, will, will put me wrong, but it's just not my... Ooh, Serena. Actually, I completely forgot Serena. I forgot it now. Let's just double check. You know, sure, he works. Sonia, fine. Sector, I like Sector. Frost? So here's the thing. If, 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 if... Hold on. If Rego could set up Frost's Ice Ball successfully every time... Or most cons or consistently at least, then I would say yes because that'd be kind of a scary thing, especially off a mid command grab, We're spending two bars in ice ball combo blah blah. blah. We don't we, but the problem with that is that's pretty obvious. Everyone knows it's gonna go for that. Um, uh, it, it's something, right? It's an idea. Um, oh, you just my legs here. It makes fall asleep. Um, it's an idea. It's not my not my go-to. Not for fraud. Not for regular. Um, let's see. Actually, discussed. Darius, we discussed. We know Serena. So we'll throw some, we'll throw some Serena. Um, Serena. Serena is interesting because Serena allows him to play a really big footy game because.
Because if we look right here, at back three, look how far away you are. You are so far away, and you're gonna get a full combo from that far away. And it's not it's not safe by any means, but it's a it is a threat, it is a possibility. Um, plus, it makes the zoning kind of nasty because you can throw this, and then the, I mean, like, it just makes it a little like I don't know. I I just I see some potential here with Serena, uh, especially with the meter drain stuff that she can do now, or like stop them building bar at all and. She has the fast projectile too. She can just throw out there. Look how look how fast he throws. Like it's, I don't know. That, that, that seems like it'd be kind of kind of something. Uh, I think Striker does that better though. Um, to be honest, but I don't know. Like I said, we, we we've sung Darius and Striker's praises. Um, I know people are gonna say, oh, he got his command grab damage got nerfed. Okay, great. I mean, it's a bit of a damage nerf, but it's off a ten frame mid grab. Like, I, I mean, it's still chunky damage regardless of what you think because he's always going to get, like, r like even a basic combo like this, right? It's 25%, maybe 26, right? Or something like this. Something like that's maybe 28 or 29. I'm not, I'm not, I honestly don't know. But, like, he's getting that off all the standing strings. And then, of course, the... The big one, you could do this, you could do this. Yeah, anyway, I don't know. It's, it is something. It is a nerf, but... I mean, I'll, I'll take the fact that we can get into command grab range so easily with standby three. Because standby three, like, even this far away, like, you can just stand by three and it's armored. And then from here, we can always command grab. I think like a micro step into it. See? So, like, I'm not worried about it. And, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about all these different cameo options? I, I think... I think Darius and Striker are like they're still the two best, but I I see a lot of value in Jax, especially Jax and Sub, and maybe Scorpion. Those are the three that I would def definitely see pairing well. Um, and Serena, Goro would be fun and it'd be very risky, but you can do it if you'd like. Uh, Kano would work as well. Um, I'm trying to think who else. I think, I think, maybe Sonya. Sonya might have some potential. I don't know. It's very interesting to think about different cameos other than the top two. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again for watching. See you guys next time.